Hey guys, you are most welcome again on my YouTube channel and today we are going to talk about the English period. As you all know, we are doing a history of English literature right now and we are describing the age of Chaucer. And in this, uh, in previous video, we talked about uh, the French period and the Italian period. The third period is English period and this is the most important period to know. As we know, uh, in this period, he planned his magnum opus, the Canterbury Tales. So, let's talk about this period. Ke mein. The English period, I will be talking in Hindi and in English. Uh, let's go ahead. In this period, Chaucer became independent, relying upon himself entirely even for, for the use of which he puts his own borrowed themes a few smaller poems which belongs to this period are former A's so he has composed some poems in this age as well and uh, the later we will be talking about the Canterbury Tales so some poems were former A's, fortune, truth, gentleness, the lack of steadfastness and the Canterbury Tales obviously and let me tell you that there is a you know slight change of uh, spellings as you can see here like lack l a k it's not l a k e isn't it and uh, the plan of canterbury tales let's talk about that now the plan of canterbury tales how did he plan let's talk about that now the plan of tales was probably adopted soon after 1386 remember this date 1386 sometimes you will find 3087 as well there in uh, many books in which year Chaucer composed the prologue to legend of good women so it was the same age when he composed the legend of the good women they are not they cannot be looked on as a whole many were written independently and they fitted into framework of the prologue many if you don't know what prologue is prologue is introductory word of work of any literary piece okay jo prologue hota hai bahut samne aapko dekhne ko milega to jo ye prologue hota hai wo kisi bhi work ka introductory work hota hai uske bare mein introduction isme diya jata hai okay so it was uh, close 1390 you can see here the most of uh, tales were completed as we know he has completed only 24 tales but he uh, he wanted to complete 120 because there were 30, uh, 30 pilgrims so everybody was uh, was to speak 2 and uh, then it will become 4 so let's go through some uh, notes of uh, this work 24 tales in verse and prose so he has used both of the things there he used verse and sometimes he used prose and where they all were going, they were going to the shrine of Thomas Beckett at Canterbury. Chaucer has probably made pilgrimage to Canterbury in spring of 1385 and 1387. And as we know, Chaucer was writing, whatever he was writing, he experienced it earlier. And that's why he was writing th these things. And he was clear about his notion and about his idea. And there was an inn which is called Tabard Inn and 29 pilgrims including himself of every class of society as uh, in previous video i told you pehli video mein bhi main bata chuka hu ki chaucer jo the unhone french italy aur bahut sari jagah unhone jaake travel kiya tha to unhe society ka bahut deep knowledge tha is wajah se aap dekh sakte ki unhone jab kisi character ko uh, character ko puri tarah se explain unhone acche tarike se words mein kar paaye kyunki unhe uske bare mein kafi acha knowledge ho chuka tha Next thing is uh, 23 pilgrims get their turn. Remember this thing कि सिर्फ 23 जो pilgrim थे उन्हीं को इसका turn मिल पाया था. Uh, and uh, other sto other tales were left unfinished. There are two prose tales. Only two prose tales are there. First is Chaucer's own tale of Malibus and the Parson's tale. आपको remember करना है कि इसको notes बना सकते हैं कि Chaucer की जो tale है tale of Malibus and Parson's tale दो ही इसमें प्रोज टेल हैं। Others all are in verse. The rest of the tales are composed in decasyllabic or heroic couplet. So he used decasyllabic heroic couplet. Canterbury Tales के बारे में W. J. Long ने एक remark लिखा है, uh, which is uh, very important to remember. 
Chaucer is the first English writer to bring the atmosphere of romantic interest about the men and women and daily work of one's own world which is the aim of nearly all the modern literature when we are going through the word romantic it doesn't means romance okay uh it means there was a quite change so when we say romanticism in english literature it was uh, you know a breaking point from uh, past it was name of the change okay so he was uh, the first writer to bring the atmosphere of romantic interest about the women, uh, men and women and the daily work of one's own world chaucer assigned to a pilgrim a tale suited to his character and vocation the tales are of astonishing variety and give us true and faithful picture of different aspect of medieval life ab aapko kai baar ye question aata hai ki so dimag mein aata hai ki chaucer itne important kyu ho jate hain ki just because uh, he has written canterbury tales no अगर उन्होंने सिर्फ कैंटरबरी टेल्स लिखा होता तो इतना इम्पोर्टेंस क्यों दिया जाता है उसके पीछे रीज़न यही है कि उन्होंने उस टाइम का एक क्लियर पिक्चर एक फेथफुल पिक्चर उन्होंने उस टाइम की खींचकर हमें दी एंड वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट टाइम ओके सो चौसो इमर्जेज एज द फर्स्ट ग्रेट स्टोरी टैलेंट इन वर्ल्ड द कैंटरबरी टेल्स ऑल द बेस्ट टेल्स आर टोल्ड इजीली ग्रेसफुली एंड सिंसियरली द टेल्स आर रिमार्केबल फॉर द डोमेटिक क्वालिटी Next is the Canterbury Tales has been called a human comedy remember this thing okay this is a good fact to write down so the Canterbury Tales has been called a human comedy in tales chaucer appears a great humorist okay here so he used a uh, good humor if you have uh, probably i think you have gone through these some stories and you will get that The Canterbury Tales is the first finest poetic testament of England. James when he says that it is coherence and imagine imaginative drive of a great work of literature, the present and present a firmly realized view of life of all medieval poems. The Canterbury Tales gives a modern reader the strongest sense of contact with uh, with the life and manner of 14th century England. That's why it is important work to know because with the help of this book we get a clear picture of 14th century so aasha karta hu ki aapko ye video pasand aaya hoga if you like the video thumbs up the video and please don't forget to share bye bye take care see you in next video tomorrow